I'm so excited because finally I have my own personal skincare specialist that I can ask about all of my skincare questions and she can give me a routine and you can tell me what to do and I trust you wholeheartedly. And I'm not a skincare specialist. You are! No, I'm not How a skincare specialist. How can you not specialist. be a skincare specialist? Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, so I worked at a certain large Australian beauty retailer and I may or may not have been a skincare specialist there But what a skincare specialist means when you work in beauty retail is that you have a little bit of extra training And on top of that I was like a massive skincare nerd for like quite a while like trawling the subreddit looking at ingredients like tell me your secrets king I love skincare. So I just want to clarify. I'm not a dermatologist. I'm not an esthetician I don't have a formal qualification. So uh, no one come for me if any of this advice is terrible for your skin. I don't have enough money for a court case. You're a skincare specialist. <laughs> I'm just incredibly vain and I was like, but I want to have good skin. I want to be dewy and juicy and moist. See, that's actually, that's why I asked you <laughs> to do this video with me because I, I don't know if you guys can tell from where you're sitting, but from where I'm sitting, when I look at Lucy's skin and I look at my skin, I see like a glazed Krispy Kreme donut and Alex. like a wrinkly no it's like you're not wrinkly <laughs> how can you look at me and say i'm not wrinkly like you're not wrinkly let me smile you're not wrinkly you're just surface dehydrated surface dehydrated yeah surface dehydration i have put that much moisturizer on my face and no matter how much do you do it every night no but mm. Something to think about. So we went to a store and uh, we'll show you a little bit of the footage now so you can just like experience the, the vibe of the store the and the chaos. It was mainly my chaos. The store was pretty chill. I was the chaos. All right, now it's at this point in the video that I have to say the biggest thank you ever to one of my favorite sponsors, HelloFresh. If uh, HelloFresh hadn't sponsored today's video, I wouldn't have been able to go on this incredible shopping spree for luxury skincare with Lucy. So before we jump into the skincare segment, let me tell you a little bit about HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a subscription meal kit that delivers easy to follow recipes and fresh pre-portioned ingredients that are ready to cook right to your front door. There's no time wasted because you don't have to hop in the car and go grocery shopping. There's no food wasted because the food is all pre-portioned into the exact quantities you need for your recipe. There's dozens of recipes to choose from each week and most take only 30 minutes and some take 20 minutes or less with their quick and easy options. There's low carb, low cal, vegetarian and pescatarian options with fully customizable portion sizes and delivery dates. You can skip a week whenever you want and best of all, HelloFresh is sustainable. Their packaging is either fully recyclable or it's made from recycled materials. If you want to give it a try, go to hellofresh.com and use the code prettypastel16 to get up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. So go to hellofresh.com and use the code prettypastel16 to get 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. And with that... Do you have to wear sunscreen? Do you have to wear sunscreen? <laughs> and you're wearing SPF 50. We're gonna get this back. So this is an oil cleanser. This is what you need removing your makeup with. Oh, okay. So this is a British brand. Um, if you're looking for like gentle skincare, if you find your skin's really sensitive and sensitized, I highly recommend it. Or what we're here for today is this guy. Oh! So you love using Sunday Riley Good Jeans? Yes, I do, yeah. Right? I love it. So this is the same kind of stuff that's in Good Jeans. Yeah. But a lower concentration. Because huh. I notice you use Good Jeans in the morning. Yeah, right? yeah. So you can start using this in the morning. Instead of Good Jeans? Instead of Good Jeans. Oh, okay. I'm using Good Jeans at night. I have a couple of choices of vitamin C. I like this one, and I'm going to say we're going to go with this one because it's my favourite. So, the best. The best. I love it's it. Really good. Oh, I love it. I think we should get that because you like the jeans, and then you get a travel size. Oh. And then you get both. So that's the full size, is it? Yeah. How this long? This one I've been using it for a year, and I haven't gone through. Like, oh, really? Yeah. So this will last me quite a while. Yeah. That was how much was it, Lucy? Six hundred and twenty-six. Which is That's less than I thought. I was like, okay, if I'm going to invest a lot of money in like a solid skincare routine that's like tailored to me by a, by an expert, you're actually like, just paying for my time. Yeah, yeah. I thought it would be a grand. So I'm really happy. I think six hundred dollars, if this helps me, might save me a lot of money in the future if I get this right now. So now that you've seen that, let's have a little look at the items that Lucy picked out for me. What I'd really like you to do, give me instructions, like strict instructions. My personal approach to skincare is not a strict one. I am never ever going to be mad at someone for using a product that either A works for them or B makes them happy. I just want people to have the information that they need to make the right choices for them and I also want them to get something out of their skincare routine whether it's enjoyment or results. It, it doesn't 
matter. For example, a lot of the skincare community aren't a big fan of fragrance in skincare. Oh my god, how could you not be a fan of fragrance? <laughs> I'm like, this smells well, like nothing. Yeah. Why would I put it on my face? It smells like nothing. So a lot of people can be really sensitive to fragrance. So we'll find out if you are. I don't oh, think you are considering no, what you use. No, I'm most certainly But not. like some people are really sensitive to fragrance. I would moisturize with perfume. Uh, sure. I mean, I wouldn't recommend moisturizing with perfume. It'd be very dehydrating. I am not a person who's going to roast people for using a walnut scrub. Oh, my like, mom loves that. Yeah, but like people would often be like, I'm really embarrassed. Like I don't want to tell you my skincare. And you're like, you're going to judge me because I don't wipe off my makeup at night. And I'm like... Well, okay, that's fine. If you're wanting to get like J Lo skin and you don't want to wipe off your makeup, we're, we're gonna have to probably <laughs> we're gonna, have, a bit we're of gonna have to find like a compromise there. If you have a night where you're really tired and you don't do the full routine, I'd rather you do an amount that you want to do that feels good for your skin and listen to your skin and see how your skin feels. And you're mm. gonna learn how to do it. and You're gonna get really good at it. You're gonna like tune into it. You're gonna like why tap into that skin. I'd rather you do what you want to do rather than feeling like you're obligated to do like some 10 step routine. But if you like doing a 10 step routine, I like doing a long that, routine. Is that what you do? If I'm tired, I'll like wash my face. I'll do like my double cleanse and I'll put it on like one kind of do it all in one sort of product, like a nice face oil or a moisturizer and I'll go to bed. Mm. But other times I'll do like if you a have ten, the time. Yeah. If I have the time and I feel like doing it and it makes me happy, I'll do that. Yeah. Is that I hope that makes sense. See, I think the difference between us, obviously because you have the understanding, for me, if I said, I'm gonna start a 10 step uh, skincare routine, I'd go to my drawer and I'd look at all the PR that 4th Ray Beauty has sent me and I'd go, <laughs> one, two, and I would put 10 yeah. of them on my face and yeah. be like, that was 10 steps. But there would be no rhyme or reason behind it. Yeah, so it's about like, I want you to be able to understand why you're doing those things. Can we please talk about what your current skincare routine is, Alex? I put this like fourth ray beauty, uh, green tea, droppy milk. Mm -hmm. The fourth ray beauty face milk? Yep. Yes. Yes. Um, on once a month or maybe like once every three months. Uh -huh. uh, and then I put Sunday Riley good jeans on my forehead every day. Just on your forehead? Yes. Okay. Because it's, it's bougie. It's a bit expensive. It takes the wrinkles away. Mm, but... Yeah. Okay. So, bing bong bing. This will be the official before. So all I'm wearing right now is just um, eyebrow pencil and eyeliner and mascara. That's the only thing on my face. I don't have any foundation, powder, nothing. So obviously when I smile, like, you, I get the crow's feet and when you look at my forehead, I've got a lot of wrinkles on my forehead. So I kind of have some texture, like if I run my finger down here, I have these little bumps that some of them look like blackheads and some of it just kind of feels a little bit lumpy. It's mostly here. I have like little lumps and bumps. I get like a lot of little tiny blackheads on my chin. Up here is oily. This is a very, I think this is quite oily on my forehead, but this is very dry to touch and very bumpy and lumpy. I don't get um, pimples. Only if I eat a lot of chocolate, I get like one there and maybe one there or something, but I don't really get pimples. And my under eyes are very dark. This is always very, very black under my eyes, just naturally from, you know, living a very exhausted life. Let's go into your routine. So I'm going to start with like your staples. So I kind of expect you to use this stuff every day. So first up, we have an oil cleanser. This is the go-to Fancy Face Nourishing Oil Cleanser. So this will be what you use to remove your makeup at night, especially because you're going to be wearing sunscreen every day, because I know you don't. I don't leave the house, Lucy. It doesn't matter. You still need to wear sunscreen if you're inside or if you're exposed to sunlight. The UV rays don't care that you're indoors. They don't care. Sorry. God. All this time, you really thought you shut the door and locked and the UV rays were like, all right, yeah. I'm out. <laughs> Sorry, didn't realize this was a private residence. Hang on, you're telling me that when I when I sit here at 10 a.m. admiring my plants and the sun's coming through the window, it yeah. could be damaging my yeah. skin. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So the sunscreen I picked up for you is this one. This is a personal fave. This is the Mecca Cosmetica to save face SPF 50 super screen. It is a kind of moisturizing sunscreen and honestly, it feels like a moisturizer. You are still gonna use the moisturizer that I give you, but if you are feeling lazy and you don't wanna do it and you just wanna use the sunscreen, I will take that. But you cannot use the moisturizer and not the sunscreen in the morning. It's gonna make a difference, sunscreen. 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 And you need the oil cleanser that I mentioned because you need to remove sunscreen like you do with makeup. Hang on, you mean like on the days that I've gone outside with sunscreen and come home and like just gone to bed? Mm. I should have washed 
um, I would I would recommend off. it. Yeah, I would recommend that. Huh. To break down something that is of an oil or like a cream moisturizing base, you need to use something with oil because it's gonna okay. it's gonna dissolve it mm. and get rid of that. That's a very rough explanation. Please, like skincare stains, don't come for me in the comments. I'm is trying. Is that to... why you use oil-based lube in the shower? Oil-based lube. Never mind. <laughs> oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Then the cleanser you're going to use is a little bit fancy. This is the Tatcha Rice Wash Soft Cream Cleanser. Cleansers, in general, you want to have them at around a pH of 5.5. So that's the... <laughs> <laughs> pH neutral. So it's the same as your skin. So it's not ah. going to make your skin feel really dry. It's not going to go crazy on the foam train. But you mentioned that you like kind of a luxurious texture. Yeah, Lucy said to me, like, what sort of cleanser experience do you like to have? And I was like, I really like it when it's like thick and luxurious. I want a product for my cleanser that when I put it on it, I'm like, oh, this feels like it's doing something. So it's gonna really gently cleanse your skin. I'm confused. This is a cleanser? It's a cleanser. Wasn't the other, wasn't that thing a cleanser? Yes. Why are the two? Oh, no, I know why. I was it. listening. The lube thing. Yeah, you will be putting on sunscreen, but if for whatever reason, if you did not put on sunscreen or makeup, you could just use this. And not that. You don't have to. But this is for if you put on sunscreen and makeup, which if you're going to be wearing sunscreen every day, is every day. Oh, so they are different. They are different. So that one is an oil one. So All I heard was, this is a cleanser. This is a cleanser. This is a cleanser. <laughs> I was like, I only so, need one. Great. So this one you'll be using in the morning and the night. This one you'll just be using at night time. This makes so much morning. sense, Lucy. Right? The amount of times I've been in the shower and I've washed, and then I've looked at myself and I'm like, half of the stuff didn't come it's off. Yeah. And then I will do another, I'll pump more and then do more. And I'm like, why isn't it coming off? Yeah. Because it's not the right base. Yeah. Essentially. <sighs> Let's talk moisturizer. If you're really, really busy or if you just don't feel like it, you need to cleanse, moisturize cleanse or even rinse with water in the morning moisturize cleanse that's like minimal okay plus sunscreen and every day every day so not like once a month like I do um you can do that but you won't be getting the results that you're I will asking just continue you to help to... you deliver okay all right okay. you've got to put in the work okay get your f***ing ass up and work it seems like nobody wants to work these days. You That's have to, so true. You so this is your moisturizer. I picked out, this is from Summer Friday. Every single product they come out with, I feel like is thoughtful. Yeah, they had a, a, quite a small range mm. at Mecca. I think there was six or eight products on the shelf yeah. versus some others where there's like 20, 40, 50 exactly. products. Yeah. So they put a lot of thought and then when it's I think really so, good, yeah. they release. I think so. Okay. This is the Cloud Dew Oil Free Gel Cream. So this one, I haven't tried, it's new, but I heard rave reviews. It's got like a really good base to it. And then the, the extras that they have in it aren't extras that annoy me. They're like fun extras where I'm like, oh, they didn't have to do that for us, but they did. They did, <laughs> but they did. So it's a nice like light uh, gel texture. It's oil free because we don't really know if you're oily or if you're super dry, but we know that you're dehydrated. So you can put this on. And then if you turn out to be oily, it's okay because it's oil free, so it's not going to be too heavy for your skin. Okay. But if you turn out to be dry and you need more oil, it's okay. Okay. Because you have a face oil. So this is also from GoTo Skincare, which is the same brand as the oil cleanser. This is the Face Hero. I've tried this. I've used this for multiple years. I think it's incredible. Oh, okay. It's a really, really great face oil. It's not too heavy. It's not too thick. It's not too goopy. Okay. So now we're going to add the juicy bits. Okay. So this one, first up, is the Glow Recipe Plum Plum Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I've used this one. I love this one. I think it's amazing. It's gonna run out pretty quickly because you, oh, you really? get like a little addict. Like you just want more and more. Cause really? You have to keep layering because it, oh. it just sinks in, and your skin's like, and then you're like, want out more. And okay. You're like, oh, it's really good. So good. You like that puffy fish. <laughs> oh. 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 So it's got multiple different weights of hyaluronic acid. So some can like sink down and plump up on a lower level of your skin. Some can like sink down and plump up middle of your skin. So overall, you're gonna have a plumped effect. You're gonna pop this on morning or night whenever you feel like you want a little bit extra hydration. Oh, okay. So. It's you really like easy. Carry it in your handbag and just put it on if you don't have. Ah uh, no! With the routine we're doing, you shouldn't need to reapply. Okay. Okay. You should be good. And if you do reapply, uh, I would use the face mist. So you get a little face mist from Glow SB as well. Oh, okay. This is their watermelon glow ultra fine face mist. So if you kind of feel like you need a little bit of a top up, it's really refreshing. And if you pop out of the shower and you've got the heat on and stuff, spray this on your face ASAP so your face doesn't dry out. Huh, that's a good tip. This is the Summer Fridays CC Me Serum. You can also use it at night, but you get the best out of your vitamin C in the morning. And it also helps like fortify your sunscreen. Hang on, vitamin C? Vitamin C. D like the tablets that I take? Oh, well, good for you. It's good. <laughs> I yeah. thought that was an internal thing. It's both. Yeah, if you if you eat avocado and you put avocado in your face, they're going to do I can do things. that? I wouldn't. 
Sometimes vitamin D is like one formula won't work out for a person, but you might try a different kind of vitamin D, different form, and that just might jive with your skin better. So it's got a couple different like forms, and they work kind of in slightly different ways. So okay. you can either get the effects of both, or maybe your skin will like one or the other, but you'll, you'll probably get the effects of both. Vitamin C is a BLT, so brightening, lightening, tightening. And when I say lightening, I don't not mean- Not bacon, lettuce, tomato. <laughs> brightening your skin's overall tone. Lightening is not lightening, but if you have any um, pigmentation from pimples or marks from like scarring or anything like that, it can help diminish that. So okay. lighten, careful about using that term, and tighten. So it's gonna keep your skin nice and taut. It's gonna get it all like- Okay, that's, so that's what I need. Yeah. And then I wanna talk Chemical exfoliants. This is the Ren Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. So AHA is an alpha hydroxy acid, so it's an exfoliating acid for your skin. That um, sounds terrifying. It's not scary, I promise. You could use it at night, but I'm gonna recommend that you use it in the morning. Okay. But you need to wear sunscreen. Use this in the morning. It's gonna be like lightly hydrating and also just get any of like your little crusties. Okay. And also prep your skin so you're getting rid of that top layer of any like glue so that everything else can penetrate better. Okay. Yeah, so you're clearing the way for the goods. And now, the big boys. Piece de la resistance. Piece de la resistance. You love good jeans. I love good jeans. You love good jeans. <laughs> and so I good. love good jeans. I think good jeans is an amazing product, not spawn, but like, mm. call me. Hit me up Sunday, Riley. Now, Luna is an investment kind of skincare mist. It's quite expensive, but they do these kits where it's like a half size of each. <laughs> but Luna is a retinol oil. And retinol is scary to me. Is It's scary to me too. I know nothing about it. Retinol, you have to be really careful. I had an experience where I used a retinol from The Ordinary and I left on my face and I um, fell asleep without moisturizing and then um, my entire face peeled off. So there's that. The Luna Oil is a very gentle form of retinol. You will not be using it every night. Uh, okay. To start with, you might end up using it every night, but for the first little while, you maybe use it like once or twice a week. Okay. This will make a really big difference to your concern of wrinkles. Really? Yeah, I think so. So retinols work by, here's the brick layer example. Oh, here we go. Kids. Good Jeans, for those who don't know, is a chemical exfoliant, kind of like this guy, but this guy's a lot weaker and Good Jeans is a lot stronger. So Good Jeans, if we think of a layer of bricks, Good Jeans works to break down the glue and the top layer of bricks. We want the new bricks to come up. We've got an old layer of bricks on the top. So Good Jeans is gonna hammer away at those bricks and like break them up. Luna pushes the bricks up. Ah, oh, okay, right. So retinol uh, communicates to your skin to speed up your skin cell turnover cycle. So a skin cell turnover cycle is on average 28 days. As you get older, it takes a little bit longer because your body is just moving a little bit slower. That's just biology. Mm. Charles Darwin be like, he don't be like, Charles Darwin's not like, use retinoid babes, <laughs> it's good for you. <laughs> He's like, mmm, monkey. We're gonna be whittling down the top, pushing up from the bottom, so then it's going like that. Okay, right, that makes perfect sense. Does it? Yeah, it okay. does. Great, with that combination, you're kind of working on both ends. Yeah. So instead of, but see, if you just push with retinol at the bottom and you don't clear the way at the top. Do you get like blockages? You, you might, you might get a little bit of pimples or something or congestion, because <gasps> you're pushing up from the bottom and then your skin at the top's like, and you're that like, makes so much sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So right. at the moment, all you've been doing is clearing the top. Yep. And then clearing the top. Yeah. And then clearing the top. Yep. And you haven't been hydrating the next layer down. So the top comes up, and the top layer is like a little bit dehydrated. But some of your like surface dryness is probably because you were like clearing it, and then clearing it. Whereas if you clear it and then moisturize, and then that bit gets nice and juicy, and then that moves to the top, and like it. That's, it's 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 about the sense, whole yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's that's everything we bought. That is the haul. All of that came to six hundred and thirty dollars. Yeah, which plus is the stuff from Glow Recipe, which we didn't buy on the day. Oh, true. So I think probably with like seven hundred. Yeah, probably about seven hundred dollars for all that. I told Lucy that there was no budget. Uh, as you guys know, <laughs> I make ad revenue. So in me posting this video, I will make money. So I said to Lucy, because we're going to post a video, I don't really care so much about the budget. Like we can spend a few hundred dollars and hopefully I'll get that back in ad revenue. But for people that have a budget in mind, over on your channel, will you be talking about, you know, like budget-friendly skincare or like, you know, alternatives to the big brands and mm -hmm. stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. So, like my personal skincare routine is like a very varied mix of things from high end, low end, a whole bunch of everything. Well, now we get into our nighttime routine. Pajamas, let's Pajamas. Go. Pajamas, I'm keen. Can I just say, look at that stuff on the bed. The color scheme, <laughs> look at it. And, and your pajamas? It all looks so beautiful. 
Nighttime. Daytime. 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 What's it from? You have. Nighttime. Daytime. What's it from? It's from that, like, they give animals, like, a voiceover. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's like, that's like OG. Like OG. That's some, like, good OG memes. <laughs> so, the nighttime routine, Lucy's got it here. It looks pretty small. So, this is gonna be my every night before I go to bed, more or less. So we're gonna start with this one. This is the Fancy Face Nourishing Oil Cleanser. So you're gonna rub it into your palms. Yep. And then, can okay. it go on my so eyes? So dry hands, dry face. Okay, so on my eyes, mm -hmm. I want to get rid of my <laughs> mascara and my eyeliner. Mm -hmm. And oh, that's it's all coming off. Is it? Mm -hmm. That's all I have on my- So it's breaking it down and melting it down. So you're gonna get a little bit of water and it's gonna make it milky. So it's gonna turn it kind of white. And then you rub that around a little bit. And then when you rinse it off, it's all gonna come off clean. So do you reckon that was enough? Yeah, you've got uh, kind of like little raccoon eyes. <gasps> oh, you know what's so nice? So sometimes when I try to take my eye makeup off, say. I've got like very soft skin under my eyes and I find that I have to rub really hard and like pull to get it mm -hmm. off. But it's like actually just kind of lifting it. Those days are over, Queen. Okay, I'm gonna go wash this off. Okay. This is We're so much be... more gentle than what I'm used to doing. I'm so excited for you. I only just get sandpaper and I just... So this is the rice wash. I have two touch of products. So I have the Silk Canvas Primer and it smells divine and I love using it. And I also have the Under Eye Cream by Toucher, mm. which I don't use because it was so expensive that I'm just too scared to use it. Cool, so that's... that's Those days that's are over. You, you should just... If you've paid for a skincare product, you should just use it. Is that enough? Yeah, that might be enough. Just see how you go. We'll find out. A pea size oh. amount. <gasps> it's so creamy. Ooh. I, this is like the signature Tarja scent. It smells like Japan. It literally smells like a Rio Khan I stayed in in really? uh, Kyoto. Yeah. Ooh. If you get some water, it's gonna lather up. Okay, alright. So oh, get it lathers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, good. Sure does. I'm just hitting you in the face with the cream pie. My makeup has never come off that easily. Normally, I'm looking in a mirror with like a cotton pad and that micellar water, mm. and I'm literally. you. What we really should have done when we before we filmed this video was you should have told me to go through my skincare and I could have done it on camera and you, you probably would have screamed and like it's, stopped me. I don't, I, I No, don't. I, I would get two cotton pads and my cellar water and just drench each one and then at the same time I'd go like that. It's better and then, than nothing. And then I would just rub really, really, really hard and I'd look in the mirror, not, not gone yet, rub, not gone yet, rub and I would just be like rubbing like this and scraping. Mm. Thank you. You've saved me. So this is a simple routine tonight. So first up you're going to use your Plum Plum Hyaluronic Serum. The cutest packaging I've it's seen so, so in cute. my entire life. How much? Pump it. Um, let's try it. Let's start is with... it going on the whole face? Yeah. Oh. Nice. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, oh my gosh. It feels like Hmm. <laughs> and then we're going to try your moisturizer. Okay, and this just goes straight over the top. Yeah, straight over the top. Oh, this is nice too. Mm -hmm. This smells very neutral, clean, mm -hmm. not not heavily fragranced at all. Yeah. Uh, the only last thing I would recommend is if you want to, we can pop a little face oil on. Okay. You don't have to. Yeah, let's do it. Enough. Let's do it. And you're gonna tell me, don't uh, touch that thing to your face and like, don't do drop that. it like tears. Don't do that. Oily. It smells kind of peppery. And that's it. That's it. So that's what. That's all I have to do. That's, that's like your kind of chill routine. And then I go to bed. Yeah. How does that feel? That is, I can commit to that. You can commit to I that? I can easily commit to cool. that. Cool, and then some other times you're gonna swap this out with Sunday Ryan and Luna, or maybe um, some nights you're gonna add an extra step by putting your good jeans on okay. instead, or after you cleanse, you're gonna do good jeans and wait like 10 minutes or something like that. Okay. It all depends. Maybe could you write like a little calendar, and maybe mm -hmm. we can do like a Monday to Sunday, and then you could just say like, on this day, yeah. swap that one. Yeah. Because I, I feel like I will lose You're track yeah. or I'll... I'm happy to do that for you. Okay, perfect. perfect. I, I really should let Me you go, go to bed. bed. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm pumped, baby. Let's go. Let's do the skincare routine. So uh, I got out of bed and I came downstairs and Lucy thrust the toucher <laughs> rice wash into my hands and said, step one. <laughs> so I have washed my face using this. That's the yes. very first thing that I did. Same one as last night. Yeah, but yeah. before I did it, I took this quick video of my skin just to show you. When I woke up, I actually still had product on my face, which is unusual for me because sometimes on the rare occasion that I do actually put on some sort of cream at night, mm -hmm. which is normally just some random assortment of something that Yes Style's given me for free and I just kind of grab it and use it. And respect to that. Normally when I wake up, my skin is just the way that it was before I put the product on. But this morning I woke up and my skin was still, I could still feel the products on my skin and particularly on my forehead. You can see in the shot now that it, my forehead is kind of shiny and it felt oily, but it wasn't oil because it was, it was product. Or actually, it probably was oil. 
because I put that oil on my skin. Yeah. Something that I that I will say, um, when I woke up and ran to the mirror expecting that I wouldn't have a single uh, single line on my face, I was slightly disappointed. Okay. So how long do you reckon do, it is? Do you think, but do you see a difference? Do you think you see anything? I see a difference as far as like the, the glossiness and even like the touch okay. of the skin. All right. But I really did think, I was like, oh, look in the mirror and there won't be any lines. I think you look plumper this morning. I feel I, plumper. I genuinely think it looks plumper and I think you overall like your skin looks a little bit like smoother like i was saying because you don't use a lot of stuff and you're not consistent when you do it you can see a little bit of a difference immediately but we're getting into the active so this morning i am going to introduce an active to you so you've done the cleanser and so this is the next step and this is the ren glow tonic so this one's got lactic acid and willow bark so willow a little bark. bit of bha a little bit of aha so willow bark is like the natural ingredient that produces salicylic acid. Oh, okay. So that's your BHA. If you think of like the pores like a hole, mm. AHA is what like digs the hole. BHA is what scoops it up and right, brings okay. it up to the surface. So if you get any blackheads around your nose yep. or congestion, it's gonna help bring that up. Oh good, because yes. I get a lot of that. I've got a big chonky boy for you. This is one of the Muji cotton pads. So you're just gonna pump it on the top and just get it so it's like kind of lightly saturated. Oh, is that light? Yeah, that's great. Okay. Now this will feel a little bit tingly potentially. Oh, okay. yeah. A little bit. Oh, feels more than a little. I really like the smell. Yeah, it's kind of like an orangey citrusy. Yeah, it is. Yeah, citrusy, mm -hmm. but not in like a bad, like a bathroom cleaner mm -hmm. kind of way, just in like a, uh, you know, I just cut an orange kind of way. Mm. Oh, I feel the tingle. Okay. Just lightly. Tip at home, if you ever feel like the tingling is too much, get some water and rinse. All right, because that, that feels feel? nice. Yeah, the, yeah. Ting the tingling is going now. Okay. okay. It's just a little bit of a, yeah, no, and then fine. it goes away. Yeah. yeah, because you used good genes. So it, lactic acid is in good genes. Right. So this is like a much more watered down version of I that. do remember the first time I used good genes. I was yeah. like, what is happening? My skin is peeling. <laughs> Your CC Me serum. Is that this one? The vitamin C boy. He's in the big box with the mm -hmm. summer Friday. Exactly. Maybe I put him over here. The $100 serum. That was $100. Um, no. Um, so this one is, yeah, it's a little bit pricey. I think there are other vitamin Cs that are like a little bit less expensive than this, but I don't think they are as good. Okay. So, you're just so gonna how do, much? Uh, maybe a little tiny more. Any particular area or yeah, everywhere? whole face. Okay. And you can... You Ooh! Can... Oh, it mm. smells so good. Their products are like beautiful. Oh, I didn't even know what the smell is. I, I could not tell really you. Really nice. And so you might find it a little bit, a little bit tacky, a little bit sticky. A little bit, yeah. But, so a lot of vitamin C serums, when you put makeup on top or other products on top, they'll pill. Uh, okay, and you'll yeah. get that like the little balls and you're like, nah, this one doesn't do that. Oh, okay. And now... A hydrating boy again. Oh yay! Is this the one you said that I will probably need to buy more because um, I just want to keep using it? Maybe, but like only because for me, I'll do like the two pumps and then it feels really good it and then I'm like, so good. it's really nice. It's just, oh, it's so nice. Mwah. The texture is just really unusual. It's like really wet and slippery. A lot of hyaluronic acid serums are like that. Oh, so if you so like it, blue. you've got a lot to explore. Lovely. Oh, you look so glowy. Look, you look like a little dewy angel. And now, a little bit of moisturizer again. So these these two you're always gonna have pretty okay. much. So this is like day and night. Yeah. No no downside to using this. Right? No no no. no. <laughs> so this is the last step now. This is the last step of your routine. Oh, That's it. Okay. That was yeah. easy. In my head, I've always thought of skincare routines as very high maintenance, but actually this is very simple and very easy. And I can see myself waking up every morning and doing this, and probably looking forward to doing it at night as well. And now sunscreen, you have to use a little bit more than you'd think. It looks like it's tinted. It looks tinted, but it's not that much. That's see how you go with that amount. Um, with sunscreen, more is more. More is more. Yeah. If you're not sure if you used enough, you can use more. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Oh, it smells so nice. It's a really, really nice formula. It's like sweet and a little bit sugary, mm -hmm. but not overpowering. It feels like a moisturizer. Yeah, exactly. It just doesn't feel like any I sunscreen I've ever used. It's not going to be bad. It's not going to be like sticky and suffocating. That was actually very enjoyable to put on. I will mm. look forward to putting that on. Yes. I hate having to put sunscreen <laughs> on usually. I'm like, ugh, sunscreen, ick. Well, that's the morning routine. That was very easy, very yes. simple. There's a couple of products that we haven't put on my face because you'll give me a schedule, right? So yes. like the... Um, not the not good genes. What's it Luna. called? Luna. Good genes and Luna. So yeah. I'll like use them intermittently. Yeah. Not so every day. Nice. But this is my every day. What we yeah. just did. Oh, and also oh. watermelon glow face mist. mist. Yes. Can I put that on now? Is there any like yeah, no, reason? No reason why not to. At what point do I use th this one? Just like whenever. Whenever you want. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, that's incredible. It's I'm really, going to buy really like nice. 10 of these. <laughs> it's really good. I oh, love it. I don't yeah. even know what it does to the skin, one. but it smells so good and the mist is so fine. Oh, it's so nice. It's really nice. It's, so it's got a hydrating layer and see how there's like a little oh, bit of yeah. oil layer at the top. Mm. So there's a little bit of oil as well because if you just spray um, your face with mist, like water mist and stuff, you're... <laughs> it's good. It's really good. It is real good. If you're just adding water to your face, 
it's gonna like draw water from your face and it'll just all evaporate. Whereas this one, because it's got a little bit of oil on there, you're spraying the water on and then it's kind of coating with the oil oh, on top. So clever. Hopefully we'll see a change. I trust I you so. completely. And I believe <laughs> that there will be a change. I hope so. Thank you, Lucy. Thank no you so much. Cause you're Lucy's flying home today. Yeah, so sad. So, um, if you guys Tragic. want to follow her, head to the uh, link in my description box. You can find her on YouTube and on Instagram. She's very active on Instagram as far as like reviewing products and stuff. You're excellent. <laughs> I try to be. With your stories and everything. And Thank if you, you guys have any questions, send her a message on Instagram and follow her. Subscribe to her on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I'm going to look forward to my new daily routine. I'm excited. I hope like skincare becomes your new like plant obsession. I, it will actually. <gasps> the plants will start suffering and the skincare will start to... The skin will get better and the plants will start dying. <laughs> You can only look after one living thing at a time. You have to make a choice. What category My of living thing? My skin or the alocasias. <laughs> All right, I will check in with you guys every couple of days and you'll see how I'm going. Bye. All right, it is 1.30 in the morning. I dropped Lucy at the airport earlier today. I'm going to try and remember the routine that she told me. And she did tell me to add in good jeans by Sunday Riley tonight. I don't have to do that every night. I can alternate. I can do good jeans and then sometimes I can do Luna and then go back to good jeans a couple of days later, but it's not like a daily thing. We didn't do it last night, so that's going in there tonight, but pretty sure the order was go to fancy face. So Lucy told me to put this one on with dry skin onto dry hands, and then I'm pretty sure that I add water, and this is the one that kind of goes like creamy. Switching over to touch the nail. My skin feels smooth. It looks brighter. Definitely. And I just can't believe my forehead. I think Lucy's right. All this time I thought I had such bad wrinkles, but I guess I've just been really badly dehydrated. We're off to have a shower this morning. I feel like cleansing my face in the shower is going to be much easier, so Archie's coming to join me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Big birdie. <laughs> I mean, have face washing to do. Yes. I have to use this. first error. I got out of the shower and I checked the list that Lucy wrote for me and I am in fact not supposed to use the oil cleanser in the morning. It's supposed to be used at night, which makes perfect sense. Like you take your makeup off and all that sort of thing using it. So first mistake. But something I did remember was to use the watermelon mist as soon as I got out of the shower. After putting this on my face, right when I got out of the shower, my face feels so fresh and kind of like tingly. I think this has a bit of peppermint or something in it, I don't know, because you know that kind of tingly feeling you get with minty stuff? It's so nice, my face feels beautiful. And next, Summer Friday's Vitamin C, and if possible, wait a little bit between this step and the next. All right, so, yes. I'll put this on and then I will uh, go get changed and then come back for the rest. Yes, Archie, I know you're there. What? What do you want? Oh, that is so rude. Up next, Glow Recipe Plum Plum. Oh, Daniel just messaged me. He says, good morning, sunshine. <laughs> Archie, what? Very suspicious. Never seen me do anything like this before. And sunscreen. This is so strange to me. Growing up a ginger, you get told by everyone your whole life to put on sunscreen every day, and then you don't do it. And then you get a face covered in freckles. <laughs> oh, you silly boy. This is mine. Makes me look younger. All right, Lanolips. Oh, I know, it smells so good. I know, it smells so good. Good morning. I can see you there behind the tap. Uh, I am just about to start my morning routine and I wanted to film my final verbal update because there's no point in me filming every single day for 28 days and saying every day 
now I'm using Luna. And now I'm using good jeans. I think you guys get the point. I'm gonna put the routine in the description box below so that you can see what I was following every day. And then you'll know exactly what products I'm using. I'm not gonna deviate from the routine. I'm gonna do the same thing every day. I'm gonna do it for 28 days or whatever it is a month or, or I'll just keep going. I'll just see how I go, but I need to use it for at least a month. As soon as I press this button here, we enter time-lapse mode and I will speak to you next time I have an update. But otherwise, if there's no updates, I'll talk to you in four weeks time. <laughs>
However, if over the next one to two weeks your skin continually is still breaking out, or if it worsens, we may have to strip the routine back, potentially going one night on and one night off with the actives. Ah yes, that's a, a bit of an update for you guys actually that I haven't mentioned up until now. I was really loving the Sunday Riley Luna, and Lucy had me going like base routine for two nights and then good jeans, and then base routine for two nights and then Luna. And I messaged her and I was like, I think I can handle more. I think my skin can handle more. I think I can go good jeans and Luna like back to back. So at the moment I was doing the base routine and then good jeans one night and then Luna the next night and then the base routine. And then I upped it again and I got rid of the base routine and I was just going good jeans one night, Luna the next. Good jeans one night, Luna the next. Obviously with all the other products as well, but those added in. So she said, potentially we should go back to that one night on, one night off with the actives. Uh, but see how your skin feels. If it's not irritated or painful, it's probably just your skin clearing up. Potentially grab some hydrocolloid spot patches if you want to deflate them if they're a little bit too juicy. Advice for viewers, she says, when starting new skincare products, usually I would recommend spot testing and introducing one product at a time so that you can gauge how your skin reacts. Then it's easier to see what it could be. Now, obviously for the sake of this video, I went from not having a skincare routine to suddenly trying 700, 800 dollars worth of products all in the same day. So definitely like if it was one particular product that was doing this to me and I was just adding them incrementally, I'd be able to identify which one it was. I'm gonna carry on as I have been for the next week or so. If I end up getting more, like if the pimples sort of come around here or if I get them on my forehead and all over the place, I will probably do what she suggested and cut back on the actives. So uh, aside from that, that's basically the update. I definitely feel as though my skin looks very, very different right now. Look at what it looked like on the day that I started and look at what it looks like now. It looks like I have had Botox. Oh, also something that I noticed today. Usually in the morning, I start with the Tatcha cleanser and I do the Ren AHA toner, whatever that thing is. Then I do the vitamin C serum. And Lucy wrote in her notes to me, wait a little while between this step and the next. The next step after the vitamin C is the Glow Recipe Plum Plump. I've just been waiting long enough to like brush my teeth, maybe brush my hair. I had an electrician visiting me and I was putting the vitamin C on and then he turned up at my door. So I went downstairs and I think I was with him for an hour in total and he left and then I came back upstairs, stood in front of the mirror, went to put on the Plum Plump and held it up to my face and looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, I look like a different person. The vitamin C, literally, when I put it on, I had wrinkles on my forehead, quite deep wrinkles. And then I applied it, went away, one hour later came back and my skin looked totally different. So normally what I've been doing by putting it on and then just brushing my teeth, brushing my hair, and then putting on the Plum Plump, I feel like I wasn't giving it enough time to actually do its business on my skin. Every morning from now on, when I put on the vitamin C, I'm gonna stop the skincare routine. I'm gonna go down, eat my breakfast, feed the pets, do all that sort of thing, get changed, have a cup of coffee. Then I'm gonna come up, go in with the plum plump and then the moisturizer and then the sunscreen because it was like night and day, like chalk and cheese, I swear to God. Like doing the vitamin C yesterday morning versus doing it this morning and waiting three minutes versus waiting an hour. Look, if there's one thing that this video has taught me, it's that you gotta give the products a chance to do their job and actually work the way that they're supposed to. Because yeah, L Lucy was really onto something, you know, when she talked about like layering. So uh, that's the 10 day update. So I'm just gonna go back to the montage, 10 more days of me, you know, cleaning my face and everything and we'll report back in after the next 10 days. But I'll tell you what, if I'd known that it would only take 10 days to reset my skin and make me feel youthful again, I would have done it a long time ago. But I don't know if it's just because I'm skeptical, cynical or what, but whenever I've seen ads for skincare products that promise certain things, I've always thought, yeah, right, I'm sure. And I've never even bothered to give any of it a chance. And I've also never looked into what order you should use things in. Like if you guys remember when I did my Yes Style advent calendar, and I was pulling things out of the box and I was pulling out hyaluronic acid and I was pulling out lactic acid treatments and all this sort of stuff. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this one. And I'd put it on my face and be like, well, yeah, that's nice. And then I'd pull the next thing out of the advent calendar and be like, this is the next product, let's put it on. This is the next product, let's put it on. And I never did any products in any specific order. So I know now that you're supposed to start with the lightest, end at the heaviest. I've only ever just seen it as like, you have a product and you put on the product. And when that product is done, you try the next product. I would literally never have ever tried eight, 10 different things, one after the other, 
in a specific order or like, you know, put this one on and wait 20 minutes and then go on with the rest or, or whatever. I feel really dumb. I've never tried to learn about it. So how was I supposed to know? It's, it's not like my mum doesn't know these sort of things. It's not like my mum would just come up to me with her Pond's cream or something and put that on my face. If you're not taught it by someone, how are you supposed to know that you're supposed to do those things? But hopefully by you guys watching this video and watching me do the skincare, seeing how it changes my skin, learning the tips from Lucy, someone that knows what they're talking about. Hopefully this will inspire you guys to maybe look at the products you already own and see how you can start to use them better. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's my 10 days. So we'll, we'll go back into montage mode and I'll see you in 10 days from now. So, look who it is. <laughs> She's returned. Lucy's back from Queensland. Sooner than we thought. Yeah, a fair, a fair bit sooner. I was like, <laughs> Lucy, my skin's looking so good, you have to come back down. <laughs> That's the only reason. And I was like, sure. Since the moment she walked in the door today, I said, don't look at me close. Don't yeah. look close. I haven't looked up close. So I have not been looking respectfully or at all, really. As you might notice, actually, both of us now have completely different hair to what we did. <laughs> Literally, when this video started, we look completely different. <laughs> uh, I'm about to head out to a function, which yeah, hence why I'm all like like this. And Lucy's going to do my makeup. So it's the moment of truth. Yes. Would you like to see? Can I touch it respectfully? You can touch respectfully. Okay. Or not. Mm -hmm. Not respectfully. Well, without like looking, your skin looks a lot plumper, a lot more radiant. Um, and like, I remember because your main thing was like these lines, like you can't see them. Yeah, they, the lines. Without, yeah. The lines have almost gone. Yeah, you can't like see them. Yeah, but also, interestingly enough, it, they're not permanently gone. When I wake no. up in the morning, I have deep lines like I always mm, had. Okay. And then it's only when I put the vitamin C serum on. Ah, oh, really? Yeah, okay, so, interesting. so I do the, the touch a cleanser and then I do the vitamin C and then I wait mm. and I give it time until the vitamin C is completely soaked in. And when I look at the mirror and I put on the vitamin C, mm. I see the wrinkles, mm. then I go away. It all plays into my theory that you've just had dehydrated skin because, let me just touch it. Oh my, the texture is it's, totally different. I know. It's totally I different. I know. It's, it's it feels like different so skin. smooth yeah. and everything. Because mm -hmm. before, like, it was skin lumpy. looked really beautiful, but it had like this kind of um, grittiness, surface almost. dryness. It kind of just feels like a light texture kind of mm -hmm. all over the skin. Mm -hmm. And that's really normal. It happens all the time. And like a lot of clients that I would work with would always have that. But now it's like pretty much completely gone. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, wow. And your skin looks a lot more like radiant as well. I, really glowy. I put my face on Instagram in a story the other day for the first <laughs> time since I started the routine. I got bombarded with DMs saying, girl, your skin looks amazing. Drop your routine. That's so crazy. This is thanks to you. Yeah, you called me and you were like, by the way. So we started this on the 26th of April. Mm -hmm. Today is the 15th of May. Gee, you're good. Around the two week mark. Because mm, you skipped it a couple times. I've missed it once. once yeah. yeah, that's once all. Once. Only once. Yeah. I've been very good. Oh, good. Oh, I'm so proud of you. It's so nice. And you have a little bit of pimple. You, have, you sent me some pictures. Oh, you yeah. have a couple of pimples around your nose and like mouth area. Yeah, they they're went. all gone. They and went. one now. That one didn't go. But that's okay. But that one got became juicy today. I'll show you up close. There is a pimple patch with a pimple underneath. But from a distance, mm, the, you, you, you actually can't yeah, tell. Yeah, because the, um, like the redness is gone. Yeah. And it's like deflated down. Yeah. So it's, it's on its way out. So as long as you don't pick at it, that one's going to heal up beautifully. Yeah. There's two more weeks worth yeah. of skincare for this video. You're going to be so hydrated. I'm so excited to, to think what I'm going to look yeah. like at the end. Oh, yeah, oh, it's, thank it's, you, Lucy. It's not like, yeah, your skin was still lovely before, but it's definitely like, it's yeah. It's so it, different. It's a bit, it's, it, you just look really like. My mum asked me if I'd had Botox. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, that's a pretty good, yeah. Looks, it just looks really healthy and like bouncy. Like there's a plumpness to yeah, it. Yeah. Mm. So uh, Lucy's going to help me with some quick makeup for this event yes, tonight. And then I've got to run. But yep, thank you so much. <laughs> no, like I right. literally can't you're think right. enough.
Today is um, May 17th and Lucy's here. She's going home today back to Queensland. But uh, I just want to show her like a side by side comparison. So if you come over here, don't look at the screen, just have a just look down at the ground and I pretend I cannot see it. Now I'm going to put the picture up at the same time so that the audience sees it when you see it. Okay. Have a look at the before and after. Whoa. I didn't realize until I opened that photo, I was like, oh my God, I forgot that it looked like that. <laughs> It looks like so. Isn't that when, a... when did you take what, what that screenshot picture? is that from? That that picture is from uh, the day before we started the skincare routine. Okay. <laughs> and that picture, that's not edited or anything. I just stood in front of the window. Slightly different lighting, right? Well, both of them are standing in front of a window. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So that that's in front. Oh my god! Of... I'm such a I'm such a dickhead. I thought that one was like under fluoro or something. No, no. That picture is standing in the the room you're staying in yeah. right now. Yeah. I'm stand. I'm in front of the window in that room when I took that photo, and I'm also in front of the window in my bathroom in the other photo. So both of them are just natural light in front of a window. Mm. Remember when you said that your mum asked you if you had Botox? <laughs> I kind of like. It's just wow, because it's plumped everything up, so there's no like. It's like inflating a balloon. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> wow. I mean, I guess it also helps that my hair is uh, freshly bleached. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the other one is looking a little... A little, a little crusty. As Gemma Collins would say, frazzled. <laughs> you look so, like... Healthy. I mean, you're sort of making an expression on the left. I, yeah, I guess so. Right. I guess like, I'm smiling. Yeah, but... I was kind of going... <laughs> Where are the lines? <laughs> They're totally pumped out. That's insane. I was like, no, Alex, move your fucking phone. <laughs> Wild. Skincare is crazy. So, like, I know it's too early to say because it's not the full month, but, like, are you into skincare now? Like, I'm wholeheartedly, I, I from this moment on, pledge yeah. my allegiance to skincare. <gasps> yeah, I've got two more weeks on it, but just wanted to show you guys, this is now exactly three weeks to the day that I started, and that is the difference. So I'm really excited for That's not so. two more you weeks look, like, from now. so glowy and radiant. I look and, so like, different. Healthy. The vitamin C, I think, has evened out. Vitamin C, yeah, true. Anyway, so that's that's three weeks. Oh that's the update for three weeks. Nuts. Yeah. Thank you, Lucy. No, of course. Yeah, thank you. No, I'm gosh, happy to help. <laughs>
it's so enjoyable to just rub it in and then when you wash it off you actually feel a proper difference. So as far as how much is left, this is on its last legs. I'm pretty sure you can feel there's there's not a huge amount left. Maybe a week's worth of product left yeah. in that tube. From memory, this was expensive. 40 Australian plus. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. So I will buy this again because even though it is expensive, there is no price that I can put on being motivated to do your skincare because you find it enjoyable. After I cleanse my face, I use the Ren Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. I don't know if it does anything. This is a hard one to know whether it, I'm like, does it do anything or not? My skin feels very different. The texture is very, very different. Mm -hmm. But there is the part of me that's like, is that because of the cleanser or is it because of the AHA Tonic? What I do really like about this, I love the pump. So good. It's really, really satisfying. Iconic packaging. Yeah. yeah, because I find sometimes when you have like a tonic and you have to sort of pour it on a cotton pad, it's messy. Really Really great packaging. I also haven't used a huge amount. I've only yeah. used that much of this product and this is going to last me a really long time. Uh, I've been using the Summer Fridays CC Me Serum, which Okay, I'm really sorry. I, I do love you, <laughs> but actually I think this is my favorite. It's so good. The crazy thing about this, the longer that I leave this on and the yeah. longer I leave it to soak in, the more it after I use my incredible vitamin C. I was using the Plum Plum mm -hmm. Hyaluronic Serum, which I do really like. Very enjoyable experience to use this product. My favorite packaging ever. It's just incredible. So cute. But also it's empty. When this I... one runs out fast. Like I ran out of mine fast too when I used it. Oop. Essentially it lasted me the month. I don't think, uh, I was gonna say I don't think I'd buy this again, but nice gift. It's not a, it's not a necessity. I've I given it as a gift actually to a couple yeah. of people. Oh, yeah, cute. It's a really nice present to give people. The next product over the top of that, I put the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew. I'm so interested to hear what you think of this one because I haven't tried it. Did you? It's okay. empty. Okay. Look, look, the, scraping the bottom of the barrel for content. That's all there is left, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, and I really enjoyed it. I have, I gave this to my mum for Mother's Day. Oh, okay. Gave it to my mother-in-law for Mother's mm -hmm. Day as well. Uh, beautiful packaging, very solid, heavy, really nice, neutral kind of scent. Very pleasant to put on my face, cooling, soaks in relatively quickly, which is nice because my face doesn't feel sticky for a long time. Mm -hmm. At the moment, I don't think I'll buy this. I want to try other moisturizers because it's exciting to me, the thought of trying other things. Some things, it's frightening the thought of leaving it behind and trying something else. But other things, I'm like, okay, I tried that. I enjoyed that. I'd like to try something new now. Yeah. That one, that can go, might come back into the routine at some point in the future. Try the top to do something. I will. It's really, really good. Uh, and then over the top of that, I've been putting the Mecca sunscreen that I love more than anything. You like it? Oh I, great, thank God. Oh my God, I use it multiple times a day. I have, I bought more, I went back and Yay! bought, I bought three more tubes. Sunscreen. I keep, I keep one in my car, yes. one in my handbag, oh my one in the bathroom, Yeah. and I put it on multiple times throughout the day. Sounds great. It is just the most enjoyable experience to put it on. Good. Like I put some on a little while ago, but I'll put a bit more on now because like when you, oh, it just, it feels like butter. I will never stop raving about this. I, so I've good. got, a tube for my sister-in-law, I got a tube for my mum, tube for my mother-in-law, got a tube for Caitlin, got a tube for my husband. Like, I, I've, I've been buying it for everyone. I'm just like, you take this and use it. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Uh, in the evenings, mm -hmm. I start off the cleansing with the go-to fancy face. Where's and within three or four days of using it, the pump stopped working. Oh gosh, that's yeah. not good. So I've just been pouring it onto my oh. hand ever since. And I know I could have just gone back to Mecca and been like, help me, please replace, but that involves yeah. leaving the house. I'm obsessed with this like and I will continue using this. Cool. I mean, I'm interested to try some other products just to mm. see how they are, but I have no need to try anything else because this, when I have big makeup on, when I have lashes and liner and everything, I used to sleep in my makeup because I was like, oh, it's so difficult to take makeup off. Like I'm going to be pulling at my skin and it's going to hurt. I have felt confident and free to wear makeup since I started using this because I'm like, it doesn't matter what I put on my face. It'll be gone just yeah. like that because this will just take it away. So good. I love it. And yeah. also there's so much left in here. I I've been using too much because I've been pouring it on my hand and it kind of like goes yeah, everywhere. Yeah. I've been using too much and there's still so much left. Yeah. So I used that at night and then I was going and also using the rice wash afterwards. I which status. twice a day for there to be this much left. I guess that's pretty good when you're using it twice a day. Yeah. I would cleanse and then I would put on the Glow Recipe Hyaluronic Serum yeah. for a little bit of slip because the Luna uh, Sleeping Night Oil is a little bit sort of- It's like a dry oil. Drier yeah, yeah. oil. Originally, I was just doing that, cleansing Hyaluronic Serum Luna, going to bed on one night and then the next night I would do cleanser, good jeans, and then I would put on 
the moisturizer. Mm -hmm. The nights that I used Luna, I woke up in the morning and noticed the biggest difference. It was unbelievable. It's awesome, isn't it? I'm I, so glad you like oh it. Oh my god, I couldn't believe the difference. And also, there's so much left in here. It I takes yonks used... to get through it. So the yeah. fact that this is a sample size product too. It's a half, half size, size, whatever. Yeah. 15. 15 mils. Yeah, yeah, so the normal one is, is 30. 30 mils. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is taking me a very long time to get through. I love the go to. Uh, face hero this oil is really enjoyable to use uh, also some nights because we're in winter now and we're pumping the air con because it's so cold you just can't I just cannot exist in this house without air con on some really nights cold. Yeah. and I lather this on and I feel like it really does protect my skin overnight yeah. so what I've been doing now is multiple times throughout the day I've been using the watermelon mist mm. and then also probably part of the reason that I ran out of my summer Fridays moisturizer is because every couple of hours I was like Ooh, oh not not so good and I was ducking upstairs and popping a little bit more of this uh, on okay. because I was really drying out so terribly if your skin is like a pot of water by having the heater on like your physical house heater it's steaming the water away yeah so you need to add more water back into the pot and then you need to put the lid on the pot which is the oil and the oil is the lid good jeans I've always liked mm. but it's just interesting now how in the past, I thought good jeans was the only thing that could Special give me Special source. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was the only thing that could give me results, but I'm seeing other results now, so I'm, I'm not relying on good jeans. Mm. I know good jeans is good. It's still really good. It's I still really, really like good. it. Then the only other products that I was using, I was using the Lanolips, mm -hmm. and I use this every day. Yeah. And I actually had a few comments on my latest videos that were like, did Alec get lip injections? <laughs> and I was like, no, but my lips do look bigger, and I guess it's just because they're moisturized. Like, yeah. I use this multiple times a day, and I feel like they are a little bit more mm. sort of plump now. The other thing that I haven't really talked about is the Watermelon Glow. I don't know. Really? I don't think I would ever buy this again. <gasps> like, it's lasted a very long time, and I go I go upstairs, and I give myself a little bit of a spritz, and I'm like, oh, yeah, like, that's, that's, that's I guess it's refreshing. So interesting. But also, this is one of those things where I'm like, I, on the days that I use it and the days that I don't use it, there is absolutely no difference whatsoever. <laughs> So, That's so okay. What do you think? So this is like my favorite facial spray that I've tried. Really? Yeah. Like, and I've tried the Tarte Dewy Skin Mist and stuff yeah. like that. It's so useful, and I love the scent. It's beautiful packaging. It lasts a really long time, and also the spray is a really nice mist. It's on. a very fine mist. It's a great mist. All right. So I think uh, to conclude, hopefully the lighting is similar to what it was last time. I'll put day one what my face looked like just here. So you guys can see. I feel so different and I feel so much happier too. I was really, really sad. Like when I remember the day that I took those selfies, I was like, oh God, I look terrible. Like I have not aged well, but it was really nothing to do with that. It was just not looking after my skin properly. So you've opened my eyes and I'm so excited to continue learning about the world of skincare. I have all of the Glow Recipe products upstairs that I want to try for a month mm -hmm. at some point. I'd love to do like a, I tried every product from Sunday Riley for a month. Mm -hmm. uh, if there's any brands that you want me to try out, please let me know in the comments down below. But to start off, we're starting with the crazy expensive routine. Then we're having a look at the affordable Korean skincare routine. Mm -hmm. And then there's many, many more months in the year. There's mm -hmm. many months for me to continue <laughs> switching routines and trying new things. Yeah. So uh, don't forget to head to Lucy's channel, subscribe to her for more skincare, fashion related content. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much Lucy too. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Hello. The video you just watched was filmed one year ago. It is now June, 2022. And that skincare routine was in May 2021. And I'm very, very sorry that it's taken such a long time for me to release this video, but I had over five hours of footage to edit down. So I kept postponing the editing. And eventually I, I postponed it for such a long time that I thought to myself, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll just keep waiting. And then maybe I can do like a one year update. So I just kind of benched the video until now. And uh, I've got a little box here full of products that I am still using from the video that you just saw. I just want to go over it quickly because you guys have been watching for over an hour so far. So thank you to those of you that are still around at the very end here. We'll start off with the Tatcha Cleanser. This is my second empty now, completely empty. Uh, I just bought another refill. So this is now my third of the rice wash. I did try this one called the Deep Cleanse by Tatcha. I don't like it anywhere near as much as the rice wash. This is an enormous thing. So I'm gonna go through all of this, but once this is empty, I won't buy this one again. I will just keep buying this. 
I love this and they don't seem to sell it in this size tube, which breaks my heart, but amazing, amazing cleanser. Another cleanser situation happening is with the go-to fancy face. Yes, this is still the one from a year ago without its lid. I did want to try a different oil cleanser. So I picked up the Tatcha Camellia cleansing oil. Don't like it anywhere near as much as the go-to one. This was very expensive. So I once again will finish using this entire thing. But once I finish the Tatcha one and once this one is completely empty, it's, it's almost there now, I've almost gone through it. Once this one is empty, I'm gonna get this one again for sure. I've tried a few oil cleansers and the go-to fancy face. I love it. Another thing that I love and I can't bear the thought of parting ways with is the Ren uh, AHA tonic. Now I've used about this much now. This is still the same one from last year and I've already bought a replacement because they did a limited edition packaging. This was the summer limited edition one and I thought, you know what? I love this product, I'm gonna buy this. It's unopened, I'm just gonna keep it, wait until I finish this one. I love this and I was so worried that for some weird reason they might discontinue it or something. Well, you never know. Uh, so I got this just in case, but I feel like it's gonna be at least another year until I go through this, but it's okay because the, there's no expiry date on the bottle, which means I guess it doesn't expire, right? Another thing I have kept using for the past year that I haven't finished yet is the Luna oil. There's now mm, that much left in the bottom. I just committed to the big bottle. This was like $130 or something for the bigger size. This is the 30 mil. Haven't opened it yet. Uh, I won't open it until I go through the other one. But again, it's just one of those like, look, I just, I need to get it. Like, what happens if they discontinue it or something? I have to, I have to, I can't let it be the one that got away. I've got to get another bottle of it. So look, I've got a stash there that's guaranteed to take my skin through to 2024. Something else that I've refilled a couple of times that surprises me because I didn't think I would, the Glow Recipe Plum Plump. Now, I actually said in the last couple of minutes of what you just watched, that I didn't think that I would buy this again. And I finished the one that I had and I went a couple of months without it and I tried a bunch of different hyaluronic serums and I just, I missed this one so much. I, I just had to get it again. This is the second bottle. I'm about to finish it now. And they released uh, a new size. So this seems to be maybe double the amount. So I bought that as well. So it's still unopened, waiting to finish this one. And speaking of, you know what, I'm just, I just, why not, why not put it on now? I just love this stuff so much. Something else that I apply over and over and over and over and over again. This is empty. This is almost empty. Uh, I think I've been through six of this. Look, I'm very sorry. If you aren't in Australia and you can't get the Mecca Cosmetica sunscreen, I don't know what to recommend to you because I've tried that many other sunscreens from international brands, nothing comes close. So if, if you guys know of an absolutely incredible sunscreen, please leave it in the comments below because I, for those of you outside of Australia, I don't know what to recommend to you, but I, I put this stuff on my face multiple times throughout the day, even if it's dark and I don't even need it, it's just pleasurable. <laughs> And also, look, I'm a ginger and uh, the moon can give me sunburn, so wear it at all times. Another one that you can wear at all times is the uh, Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. This is the same bottle from last year. I put this on all the time. I have tried other face mists that I like more, definitely, but it is lovely. It's lovely. I spritz it all the time. I'm just waiting to empty it so I can be done with it product longevity uh, it lasts a very long time. Now, something that doesn't really last a very long time, vitamin C. This is the Summer Fridays. This is the same one from last year. The bottle is almost empty and it's changed color now. It's a much darker color. Now, I believe that vitamin C degrades over time. So I did decide to try the uh, Sunday Riley CEO vitamin C, which if you watched my most recent video, this one here, the glow up video, this featured heavily in that video and I did really, really like it. Great product, but the Summer Fridays, it's just, it's just so damn good. It's also very expensive. Uh, I've tried six different vitamin Cs now. Uh, the Sunday Riley is probably the closest 
but this is still my number one. I will repurchase this eventually. I'm not in a hurry to repurchase it yet because I do still want to try other vitamin C's. I'm sure, I'm sure there's something else out there that can compare, but I just haven't found it yet. But this, the, the Sunday Riley one is very close. And speaking of Sunday Riley, I think that that's a good place to end with the product that will always have my heart, good jeans. Uh, this is the one from last year. It's basically empty now. There is still a tiny little bit in it, but I got a refill uh, and I'm halfway through the refill now. And I've got another one unopened floating around somewhere because I tend to misplace these. I take them with me whenever I stay anywhere and they end up in bags and I misplace them. And I love my good jeans. I use it pretty much every day. So there are a few other products from the video that I just haven't revisited because I've tried so many skincare products over the past 12 months and I have filmed a lot of videos along the way. I've tried Glow Recipe, every single product from Glow Recipe for three months straight. I did a, a Korean skincare routine for three months. I've done Japanese skincare. I've done a $2,000 face cream for a month. I have so many videos to come for skincare. So if you guys enjoyed this one and you want to see more, please subscribe if you haven't already. And also give me a thumbs up on this video for a little bit of encouragement because skincare is obviously outside of the realm of the content that I normally post. So a little bit of reassurance would be great. And something else that would be great is I was able to find some companies that do affiliate programs for some of these products. So I've put some affiliate links in the description below. Now, at the time of filming, I had no idea that I could get affiliate money for the sale of any of these products. I literally had no idea. Lucy actually told me, Lucy was like, you know, there's some websites that you can just sign up to and if people buy the products using your hyperlink, you'll get commission. So some of them will be affiliate links down below. So if you wanna try anything from today's video and it's an affiliate link, it's a great way to sponsor the channel because this stuff was quite expensive. And speaking of expensive, I do just want to reiterate that you do not need a super expensive skincare routine to achieve results. The next skincare video I'm going to post is going to be my very affordable Korean skincare routine that I tried immediately after the one that you guys just saw. And that one probably came in at, I don't remember, maybe $100 all up all of the products, maybe 200 tops. Look, it was a year ago, I don't remember, but that's a, an affordable skincare routine that I tried and that one worked out pretty well. I didn't get the same results as I got from all of this luxury skincare, but I still got really, really great results. So remember, you do not need an expensive, expensive skincare routine to get results. I just had a sponsor, HelloFresh, for today's video, so I thought I would take the opportunity to try out some very expensive products, but I'm really excited to bring you guys content in the future about more affordable skincare that's gonna get you some incredible, incredible results with your skin. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah! Do you remember how Lucy said this? I'm excited. I hope like skincare becomes your new like plant obsession. I, it will actually. <gasps> the plants will start suffering and the skincare will start to, the skin will get better and the plants will start dying. <laughs> Truer words have never been spoken. Look, it was my skin or the plants. What can I say?